They dropping these dope, this dope off in our communities, man. If they give y'all the jobs, who's going to sell the dope? Who's going to rob the liquor store? Who's going to rob Mom Pie Corner Store, the Chinese store, the gas station? Who's going to jack cars? Who's going to... We, they count on us to keep the ratings going for the news. Your everyday news is big business. I'm trying to tell you something. I'm trying to school somebody, man. Wake up. It's a mind game. Trying to put you in these hospitals and institutions and 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 on drugs, or any kind of drugs. And if you don't comply that way, they're gonna find some kind of way to put you, put some kind of pill in, or needle in your, in your, in your system. My blood pressure was over 200, uh, 200 and something, over 100 and something every day for th over 30 years. And they succeed, they've succeeded. I'm still taking medication. So they've succeeded. But they're going to do it some kind of way. And if you let them get the illegal drugs in you, man, and the alcohol, and all the other sinful stuff, they're really going to get you. They're attacking me one way, but if you let them, if you leave those doors open for them to really get you, I feel sorry for y'all. They physically take the chains off you, but it's still a prison. It's still a prison. I see it every day. And I bring it to y'all every day. I'm out. Coming out for the day. There's your Josh license plate. My son Josh. Right in, in front of my, and behind my car. There it is right there with the lights on. That's the Josh license plate. They took my son away from me. One of my sons and my daughter. Can't leave them out. Here's your fog, by the way. That's for my eyes that's been bothering me. Terrible. Here's your fog. I told you they know my every move. They know I wanted to use the outside of this location right there. And there he is in the window right there. Right there, they know my every move. This satanic cult mind reading crap is crazy, man. 
He's out in the window with the white shirt on. And the beard. That's how they do. They know my every move, man. <clears throat> How long are you going to be here? Uh, what, you want me to move? Um, you know what? It's going to be in front of you. So you're all right. You're all right. Let me see it. How much are they? I think it's 35 cents. Oh, wow, that's not bad. Yeah, cheap. Uh, yeah. Yeah, everything is timing. The timing has been crazy today. Everything's timing anyway, but the timing has been extremely crazy today. <clears throat> you see how they wait on me? They're going to pull out now that I put my phone on. But that's how they wait on me. There's your bike gesture. It's been crazy today, man. It's been crazy. They've been trying to, uh, they, as usual, they try to, uh, inter well, they, you know, try to interrupt my shoot. And uh, go back and forth a little bit. The timing has been crazy, though, today. Just extremely crazy. Um, and so has the Wild Wild Red Bag. Anyway, I'm out. Nike up. shirt on. She's got a Nike shirt on. So the man she was Cap license plate, but you can't. You can't. You just see. She's been following me the whole time. Here's your safe license plate. That's your be safe gesture.
this your COVID before COVID. And that's you know, first of all, there's your uh, hatchback in the white truck. Here's your uh, EMS gesture. Can't make this stuff up. Here's your PTSD. I'm at the library. I'm just just arriving at the library. Uh, this is always a good one. Here's your bony. Bony. Bony happens when you get weak and sick and stuff like that. Like they uh, wish for you guys. Wish for all of us. Here's the place they want me to park next to the motorcycle. It's the motorcycle just I don't want to wait for this last car to move. I'll get hers. Get hers. They just wanted me to see the motorcycle. She probably just started the car. She's not coming out. Wait for this young lady to come up. She's got the white vehicle. I'll wait for her. Here comes, your, here comes your ambulance gesture. This is what they do. This is your ambulance gesture. For old folks, disability van gesture. There's one of them. Again, everything's lime green right now. Everything's lime green. Here's your fluorescent jacket with your uh, cutting them long, more gesture. And I want you to see this guy. He's got the Phillies hat on and he's got the Nike going on. And behind me is the white. Uh, Behind me is the white uh, vehicle, the white car behind me. See the Phillies cap? And there's your Nike on the side. Just wanted you to see that. And there's your uh, fluorescent jacket. Fluorescent. They were pointing at me. I wanted you to get the white car with the lights in it. This is what they do though. What they do. This is your note. That's your note license. It's note. This is your kill you. It's your kill you. It's your kill you. This is your pen. Nope is also a pen license plate. It's for riders like myself. And behind me, of course, you're gonna have your lights behind you. It's your lights behind you. This is all day. Works here. While I'm waiting on her to move her car, I'm going to let y'all see this eye. That's your eye. There's uh, tons of them in my uh, uh, area where I live. Tons of them. In my apartment complex and the one across the street and so on. She's coming out with her white vehicle. Let's see what her license plate is. She's got pages. That's the writer gesture. That's the pages. She's got pages. She's got pages. She's 
got pages for writers like myself. She was parked in next to members. That's your members. That's members. Short for members. This right here, this is your gab gesture. That means be quiet, stop talking, etc. That's your gab gesture. See your school bus over there at the mall. There's your uh, fluorescent. And down here too, fluorescent. Right there over there. Here's your puma over there. Here's your puma over there. Um, your pink bag right here. It's your pink bag right there. Let me see this car right there. Here's your lime green car. Everything's lime green right now. That's your boxing gesture. And there's your UPS. I'm about to um, shoot a skit. I'm working on a boxing, uh, a boxer's uh, a short film right now. So that's what that means. There's your. Dreadlock gesture is your trunk open gesture with the white car right there. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna cut this, I'm trying not to cut this on anymore. I need my phone to, to shoot. Anyway, I'm out. Somebody else is in there? Or? No, I have a reserve. Me and someone else are studying. Okay. Is this room open or not? Because you just put me out of it. Is it open or not? Guys, this one here? a room, if you want to use a room, you have to have it reserved. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Who has this room reserved? Wait, Nobody I has to reserve it. Do you want this room? Yeah, I do. I'll leave for 10 minutes. Just talk to her right quick. Come on. I'll reserve it for you. Put your name on it, okay? Um, you log in right quick. You said, um, you work here? Oh, no. <coughs> <coughs> so make sure yeah, how long do you want the room, sir? Sir? Sorry. You said you don't me. work here. You don't work here? No, but you want me, I was oh. going to reserve the room for you. No, you don't have to do that for me. You don't want me to do that?
I'm gonna be. I'm like you. I'm not gonna be long. I'm just. Okay, so you want me to do like? I don't want you to do anything for me. Thank well, you. Though. When he says we can't you. be in the room, we don't reserve it. But I just reserve it for thirty. Okay. Yeah, reserve it for you. I'll just. Yeah. Sorry about that. Alright, yes. Yeah, I'm gonna do it right now. I just don't need it that long. Uploaded. I gotta play these games all day, but this is okay. almost uploaded. I'll be no, I'm uh, talking to my phone. Oh, so you're talking to me? Here's your laws, by the way. Here's your laws, white car. This is all day. There's maintenance over there. Everybody's, you know. Cameras, they're all looking to see if my camera's going. I'm in front of the cameras and they're out to see what I'm doing. Here's your fall. Maintenance has been back and forth by my door this, this afternoon. Each time I opened it up. I'm on my computer getting some work done. Um, but I had to get that. I had to get the commercial. Uh, everything's uh, the timing. Everything's timing. Today uh, on my outdoor shoot, good thing it was only about 15 minutes. Um, <clears throat> they attacked me uh, with the voodoo very strongly with mosquitoes. <clears throat> um... That's something that they do uh, through the voodoo. Uh, a couple times I visited uh, uh, I'm calling friends when I uh, go to Philly, and the uh, they would send the mosquitoes like crazy right to me, and I look around. <clears throat> and I'd ask the individuals, you don't feel these mosquitoes? They don't. It's not It's not for them. Um, that was crazy. Um, I would always say, uh, you know, oh, my blood is sweet or something. I'll make, you know, everything I do is trying to make it in the natural, make it make sense in the natural. But now I understand. When I was up on my uh, daughter's uh, grandmother's porch at one time, a couple years ago, right after this voodoo stroke. And uh, <clears throat> I was getting tore up by the mosquitoes. And there was a porch full of people. Nobody else was bothered. And I felt like, let me get out of here. And um, it was it was only for me. So those type of things happen. I was going to, uh, you know, get on this and uh, and once I finish what I'm doing on the computer, but that com that commercial got me started, so I might as well just knock it out real quick. But uh, this is uh, not just me, but uh, 
it's a bit of a a, a, um, a curse or a hex on my whole family bloodline or what what have you. Uh, my mother's daughter Mary, that you got all are very familiar with. <clears throat> uh, you see, you you felt that. I mean, you heard that. That's the uh, throat scratch. That uh, is also a, dem a demonic uh, gesture um, and confirmation. <clears throat> My mother's daughter, Mary, also, she went to see her. She, in fact, she had went to see several shrinks because she thought her car was infested with uh, gnats and bugs back in the day. We thought maybe something was wrong with her, too. <clears throat> she thought... Uh, you know, her car was infested with bugs. And I told you all about when I would go in my kitchen. My kitchen here, my kitchen in my former home. And I thought uh, when I walked in, gnats, even though I didn't see them, I just, well, just started biting my legs. Same here. I told you all about when the uh, black gir girl that's in the, uh, that they put in the, the office down there, um, that fits their agenda was putting uh, uh, a bed bug pamphlet in my in my door as my legs were um, being hit with uh, voodoo, like it was bed bugs, tearing my legs up. I went to the door and there she was, just like uh, last week when I was uh, acting one of my scenes out and they all were outside my door, uh, black girls. Um, the ear up against my door. <clears throat> and then they had the pamphlet in the doorway. And I put that up. I don't know what day it was. It was last week. Y'all can go back and look at it. But, uh, they did it. And they did it, did it again when, uh, when my, uh, they stopped, stopped my, stopped my toilet up. And when they did it again, when I went to my door, they had a, Slip in my door for the last time. They stop. I, my toilet was stopped up. That's how that things happen, and that's how they do it. I get long winded. My point is, Mary uh, went through the same bug thing. In fact, she went so far as to go see psychiatrists about it. So this is a bloodline thing. It's bigger than me. But since they started stealing this stuff from me, it got bigger. I was a sacrificial, sac I was a sacrifice. Um, a sacrifice, whatever it is, um, with these demons. But um, yeah, now, I guess they came at me a little harder today because uh, this weekend, I didn't go out Sunday, so they the thing's supposed to be twenty four seven. So when I don't go out, they can't attack me on the outside. So they do this the voodoo extra strong, and it was in my anus very strong yesterday, which was Sunday, the sixteenth. <clears throat> and um, so I put the video back up. Um. Which one is that? Um, the two sisters having babies by the same man. Um, I put that video back up. Y'all can go back. As I put it up on my um, Facebook. Y'all can go find it. It's in YouTube, too. Um, and it's very informative. I listened to it again. It's a year old. So I wanted, I, I listened to it again. And it's a whole different perspective if you listen to it now. And it's so informative. I would go back and, and, and look and listen to it. But, um, yeah, that's probably why they came at me a little harder today. Um, because uh, I retaliated from that anal voodoo, that sick crap. People are sick, man. Um, I know there's some other stuff I can cover, but... I'm putting this today's video together right now. Anyway, I'm out.
Hey, look, I forgot about this. I want to show you all this, too. This is uh, some other sickness that they started. I usually, when I go to the uh, <clears throat> library, I ask them, do they have any wipes? So I can wipe stuff down. And this is the new thing that they started. This is some uh, homeless uh, uh, checklist. Uh, it, it sounded just as sick. I think it might be in this uh, video. I, uh, Cause I had to ask her, w w to explain this to me. Uh, without saying homeless, she said a whole lot of stuff, but this is the main thing I want you to see. That's the LGB uh, threat gesture thing. That they, that's your maxi pads, that's your tampons. All the other stuff, your wipes and all that. The wipes is because I asked for wipes to wipe the uh, stuff down before I use it. But um, this is all your homeless gesture stuff. It's just something new. And, um, you know, again, we know that you're going to ask about this. And we we, we add this. We're going to be ready for you. Same sickness like they did at my... Uh, at my... Um, Therapy session, physical therapy, when they ask some stupid stuff. We have to ask, what's your sexual preference or something? Real sick stuff, man. They just they, they, they just get real sick and do real sick stuff. Demonic is real sick. And that's why a lot of people are in mental institutions. This demonic thing y'all are into is very, very sick. There it is right there. I'm out.